so severe that when she pees, the urine comes up through a little tiny hole up here and then down through there. There's barely enough opening to place a tampon. Barely. It's bad. Yeah. It's Claire. I am in the San Mateo Surgery Center with Dr. Bowers right now. We're watching a clitoroplasty that's restoring a clitoris that has been sewn shut as a result of FGM. FGM stands for female genital mutilation. It's a centuries-old cultural tradition that involves the forced cutting or scraping of genitalia in young girls, most of whom live with complications from it for the rest of their lives. This patient is among a small but growing number of women with FGM who are opting for a surgery to restore their genitalia. Dr. Marcy Bowers is a surgeon, and a small part of her practice is devoted to women with FGM. Her first incision will cut through the scar tissue and expose any genitalia left underneath. So doing just a defibrillation, which is what I'm doing right now, it addresses the problem of the constriction and the narrowing. So you can see already normal genitalia. Now you, you can see how high her urethral opening was and it was closed all the way down to here. So you can imagine why her urine was tracking up here and going out through, exiting through here. So Dr. Bowers has been telling me the, the benefits These of this surgery. Babies. One of them is that women can give birth naturally as opposed to C-section because the hole is too small. Being able to urinate comfortably, menstruate comfortably. There's also the restoration of sexual feeling. The damage from FGM is that everything's hidden and buried. It looks wonderful and healthy underneath. So this is why this procedure in particular for her is likely to be very, very helpful. This is her clitoris here, largely intact. You see it? I do. Yeah. What distinguishes Dr. Bauer's work from other surgeons who perform defibrillations is a procedure called clitoroplasty, in which she exposes sensitive clitoral tissue with the aim of restoring sexual feeling. Why do you perform this surgery? It's my personal belief that sensuality and sexuality is one of the basic human senses, in addition to sight, sound, smell, touch. And so you can imagine that if someone had their sense of sight taken from them, what an outrage that would create. So the fact that we can give that back to someone, it is enormous.